Hello people, this is Christian and you are welcome back to the Don't Have channel. So in today's video, I'm just going to show you how you can render or use your custom fonts in your React Native project. So I have my project already been set up and if you don't know how to go by it, I have a video on that to show you how you can set up your React Native. So you can you can check that one out now. You'll be good to go okay so after setting up your project the next thing you have to do is um, install the expo font library okay so we are just going to copy that in, into our terminal and we are going to paste it okay and whilst it's installing i have my uh, fonts already downloaded okay so i got them from google fonts so you can come to google fonts and check for the font you want and you can download it okay so let's wait for it to set up and after that we have to check whether it did the configuration for us automatically if it didn't then we have to do it manually okay and yeah so we've been able to install it now let's try and set up or run our project by typing npn npx expo start okay so we are just going to run it and i'm going to use my physical device so i've installed expo goal on my physical device and that is what i'm going to use all right so our metal bundler has been able to uh, build successfully and the next thing is you have to uh, use uh, expo go to scan this qr code so on my physical device i'll just click on scan qr code and yeah so it's building okay and whilst it's building let's try and set it up okay so i'll just go to my app.json file and let's check for how we can use it okay so we have to just copy this okay i'm just going to copy that and paste it right here don't worry and you just have to do a couple of changes here so Okay, so we have so it means you have to also install uh, expo splash screen that one too you can come to expo splash screen and you can copy that as well and install it so let's create or open a new terminal Alright, so in our new terminal, we'll just paste it and then you we'll run it, okay? So, whilst it's running, let's try and then do other stuff as well. Yeah, so here, you have to you replace it with the custom or the fonts you want to use aside with their names. So as you can see here, they use interblack and you have to navigate to where it's the inter black file is on your repository okay all right so as you can see i already have my setup here i have no need to i have uh, no need to medium semi bold and extra bold okay so let's check inside our app.json okay so our expo font is done and let's try and save it and see hopefully we shouldn't get any errors right so i'm just going to save the app.json file okay so i'm um, definitely we are going to get an error because of this so we have to replace that with it so replace this okay so yeah let's see justify content center and then justify aligns items center as well so let's save it and see okay so that is nonito medium of course it's different from this one right the font default right the uh, uh, what do you call it the platform default right so let's try different one nonito board for you to know well so just nonito board here let me save it Right, so as you can see on the physical device, the little board is showing. 
and yeah so that is how you can use your custom fonts okay so for me i would like to use it inside my login so my login screen okay why is my login screen not showing so let me just go to my screens let me save it again so now once i can hear so login screen right and let me save it let me try and then remove these ones good and inside my login screen i can use the fonts so hopefully it should work so let's just copy this and um with this one let's change it to font family font family and let's replace that with this all right so as you can see on my fiscal device let's change at least i've made it nice bit than earlier on yeah so this is how you can use your custom fonts in your react native project i hope you really enjoyed this video if you did please share it to others okay leave a comment in the comment section like and then subscribe to the channel see you in another video